And what are some of the lessons that you learnt about audience development in the South? I, in our, I suppose, thinking about it, one of the things in our final three years, we started to work on programming work. So we were commissioning work for audiences, and when I say work, I mean artistic and creative work, and working with organisations to help them commission and develop work. And I suppose the lesson there was that we were starting to go on this journey which went it's all well and good to have a lot of data and evidence about the audience but you have to remember who that audience is for and what that audience is for and that audience is for a creative and artistic product and so I suppose if you want to get really simplistic and basic those basic four P's of marketing always start with product and an awful lot of time perhaps is spent on you know price and people and all the other P's that sit on the other end and actually Building that evidence base and feeding it back into the development of the product is the next generation, I think, of work that needs to happen. And the bit that perhaps we need to work hardest on as cultural organisations is how do we now take an evidence base that is being built through box office systems and through good research and start applying that back to the creative product that we have rather than creating creative product and then trying to apply the evidence base to say how do we engage audiences with this.